Welcome to the Windows Club. If the NS lookup works but ping fails error occurs in your Windows computer, then either read through this article on the Windows Club or simply watch this video, I'll guide you to the resolutions. First of all, search for command prompt in the Windows search bar and click on run as administrator in the right pane to open the elevated command prompt window. Now run three commands. The first one is to flush the DNS which is IP config space flush DNS. Paste it here, hit enter. Once it says successfully flushed, then try the second command which is the net sh winsock reset command. Paste it here and hit enter. You would need to restart the computer for this but you can do that later. And lastly you can reset the IP. So I will copy this command and paste it here. It says you need to restart the computer once again. After this, the next solution would be to force Windows to do a DNS lookup using the FQDN. It is easy. Press the Windows key and the R button to open the run window. Type the command ncpa.cpl and hit enter to open the network connections window. Now right click on the active network connection and select properties. After this, double click on IPv4, go to this option here which says advanced, go to the DNS tab, check the radio button associated with append these DNS surfaces in order. Click on add, add a full stop or a dot here, click on add, select OK. This should resolve the problem since it forces DNS lookup for every ping query. After this, you can use the Google public DNS. So we go back to the internet protocol settings, double click on it. And this time, select this option which says use the following DNS server address. The preferred address is 8.8.8.8 and the alternative one is 8.8.4.4. Click on OK. After this, the next solution would be to Reinstall the network drivers. For this, go to intel.com and use the intel search bar at the top right corner to search for the network connection drivers. Then download them to your system. It's a .exe file. All you need to do is run it and the network drivers would get updated. Isn't this easy and interesting? If you have any doubts, please go to the original article on the Windows Club, scroll down to the comment section and write your query. We will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.